Lewis Peake, 30, from Bolton, has been found guilty of manslaughter alongside Michael Wilson and two teens after they killed Stephen McMiler in Wigan while trying to snatch his Rolex. Two men and two teenagers, aged 14 and 17, had been found guilty of manslaughter after killing a man while trying to steal his Rolex watch. Stephen McMiler, 34, from Wigan, was found with serious injuries on the grounds of a church on August 6 last year and was later pronounced dead by medics, the Manchester Evening News reports. Lewis Peak, from Bolton, was alleged to have recruited a group of four people from Merseyside to assault Mr. McMiler so that he could steal his Rolex watch, worth more than £11,000. Peak, 30, has been standing trial with three from the group, Michael Wilson, 20, and two teenage boys who cannot be named for legal reasons. All four were found guilty of both manslaughter and conspiracy to rob by jurors at Manchester Crown Court this afternoon, May 12. Stunned relatives of the defendants wept and howled at the television screen as they watched the jury give its verdicts from a separate courtroom, due to social distancing. The court had heard Mr. McMiler travelled by train from Wigan to London to fly out to Thailand before returning to Wigan, last August 6 after changing his mind. He spent time drinking in Wigan Town Centre with Peak in the hours leading up to his death. Two schoolboy witnesses described the moment Peake offered them £100 each to batter Mr. McMiler, before they left feeling scared. Prosecutors said Peake then approached the group from Merseyside, who was seen on CCTV arriving in Wigan by train, to carry out the assault, before one member of the group turned on Peake, hitting him over the head with a glass bottle. After the attack, Peake took Mr. McMiler's suitcase and telephone before getting the attention of a passing ambulance to discuss his own injuries. Still, he refused to be taken to the hospital. Peake returned to the home of Cassandra Hill, in Standish, who told the court that he had confirmed he set out to rob a watch to her. Jurors retired to consider their verdicts on Monday afternoon and asked to return a unanimous verdict. Having been unable to do so by this morning, Judge Mark Turner allowed the jury to return a majority verdict of 10 to 1, with the 12th juror having been released from her duties on Tuesday. The four defendants are due to be sentenced on Friday, June 11th. After giving its verdict, Judge Turner told the jury, you have clearly concentrated on the evidence, and over the period of the last few weeks, you have discharged your duty. The sentence to be passed on to these defendants will wait until June 11, bearing in mind the age of two of the defendants, and the desire of Wilson to equip me with a report to help me decide on the appropriate sentencing.